In this video, I'll show you exactly how I organize sound effects and music in Adobe Audition. Now it's good to be organized because then, well, it's easy to find things. And the window you're really going to need in Audition is this one, the Media Browser. It's usually here in the mid left area. If you can't see it, go to the Window menu and just look for Media Browser. This is a genius thing. Now I've got lots of production libraries. They're all available to buy, by the way, at mrc.fm forward slash sfx. I've just got one for simplicity here to show you. My production elements are organized into music and sound effects. First sound effects, booms, beeps, horns, impacts. If I'm making something with a riser, for instance, I know they're all there. And something I always have switched on when I'm browsing through my media library is the autoplay button. With this off, I can click on anything and it won't play. But with autoplay enabled, I can hear the audio and I can see the duration. So instantly I know that's what I want. I can drag and drop it into waveform. I can look at it. I can audition it. I can play it back and see how it sounds. But then I can also go ahead and create a multi-track like so. And we'll call this mic without the symbol there. And there we go. We're ready. I can drag this in here or I can directly drag in sound effects right here from the media browser. And there it's, it's doing an automatic sample rate conversion as well. If I'm working in a different sample rate, it's really, really good. Now, that's how I organize sound effects in their different categories as to what they have in them. But also, if we go back and look at music here, this is really well organized. And this is why I love using the MRC libraries. If I go into Dance Electronic, you'll see everything organized by BPM. And even if we open up the name a little bit more to have a look, like so, Let's just drag that across. You can actually see the key here of each track. So if I'm working in a certain key, that information is available to me as well. So say I want 120 beats per minute uh, in the key of B. I got it there. Drag it, drop it, and all is good. And then I can start mixing my sound effects and my voice. Now, say I want to save this session out and stay organized. Audition offers me another great feature that I love about working with sessions in Audition. File, save, and it saves it out. Now, not only that, when I save it out, if I actually go to my finder now to show you this, this is my session file here. I've got mic.sesx here, but I've also got conformed files. And we look in here, all of the audio files I dragged into my session are neatly organized in one folder. So if I want to transport this and make it portable and bring it somewhere else, I can always have it available to me uh, and know that I'm not going to lose any media and have to relink it at a later date. The final awesome hack I'm going to show you is the ability to create your own organized session file. And in order to do this, I'm going to create new folders like this. And I'm going to call this one 01 SFX. And then I'm going to call the next folder 02 Music. And then finally, another new folder called 03 Voice, like that. And say if we're working on a podcast and we always want to use the same stuff, let's call this Mic Podcast like so. We'll drag those folders all in there, move them over. Okay, now I can go ahead and I can grab maybe some sound effects. Let's have a look here. Say I want to use a few electric sound effects. Let's copy those. So Command or Control C, and then we'll go back to my mic podcast, pop them in the sound effects folder there. There they all are. Uh, and then we'll go back into production elements. We'll grab a music bed that I might want to use, maybe a 120 BPM bed there. Copy it. And then we'll paste that back again into Mike Podcast under music, like so. And now we've got this all ready to go. And I can even go ahead and copy maybe my session file, this one that I've been working on here, into the Mike Podcast folder. And we can make a new folder and we can call this 00 session file like so. Uh, and then if I recorded a voice, I could drop that in the voice track as well. So everything is here nicely organized. Let's put that session file in there and ready for me to use at any time with all my sound effects, my music, my voice ready to go. And that's how I stay nice and organized inside Adobe Audition and always know where my sound effects, my music beds are with ease, 
organize them into sound effect folders, music folders, try and categorize by BPM if you can. There's some clever software out there now that can do it for you, such as Mixed In Key, an excellent piece of software for not only detecting beats per minute, but also the key of all your music beds. And then you can organize them, add the data into the file name, and that's how you stay organized in Adobe Audition. Now, I did a great video on podcast editing in Adobe Audition. You should go and watch that next.